Hello welcome back guys. Welcome back to a brand new video of Mighty Ghost Hack YouTube channel. So first of all apologies for not uploading the video continuously. So from today onward, I will try to keep consistency. Try to upload a video at least once in the week. So in this video, we are gonna look for Angular Push Notification Part 2. As if you following this channel then you may know that I already uploaded a video on this topic. So this video be the continuation of that video. Or you can say it's a second part. Also, I made this video by seeing the request of lots of subscribers. Who also wanted pop-up notification on the foreground. So here I come up with a small function. Which you will help you to show notification while your website page is active. So first let's take a look into an old project. So here you can see the project is running over browser. Now let me send FCM request with the help of Postman. After sending of request. You will able to see that message. Or JSON format of the response. Is showing on the browser so till now. Now here you just receive the message but notification pop up is not appear. I will show you how very easily you can add. Till now also let me show you the working of service worker. Which give you notification pop up while the browser tab is inactive. So now you understand the notification pop up is only displayed. When the browser tab is in an activate state or any other tab is open. So. To add notification pop up when browser tab is activate. For that let me open my project and let demonstrate you. So here you can see the project windows. So in order to add such feature in your project. Then firstly open the messaging service TypeScript files. Which we created in our previous video. Now all we need to make changes in only this file. Firstly let me show this function. So here you can see the one small function. Which helps you to display the notification. So here I just made an object. And pass this into notification API service. And this service provides us feature to display the notification. Also, the object which I made. Have the predefined set of parameters. So you can't pass your custom parameters. So in order to understand more about it. Just read about notification API on Mozilla official website. So I maybe consider that you understand about it. Now in order to display the notification. We have to call this function as well. So we will call this function in receive message function. And just below the current message variable. So once it has done. We are ready to go. Let's again demonstrate you. So here you can see right now the notification is displayed successfully. Also, you can provide click event on this notification. For that here I provide redirection click event. You can see in this code snippet. So again let's takes into a demonstration. So now once I click in this notification. Then it takes me into Google website. So this is it for this video. Hope you enjoy it and understand how much easier to integrate such a feature in any project. So if you enjoy my work then like share this video. Until then bye.